一个平平常常的日子。细蒙蒙的雨丝夹着一星半截的雪花，正风风凛凛的向大地飘洒着。司令一快到景致，雪大然再不会聪明，往往还没等落地，就已经消失得无踪无影了。黄土高原严寒而漫长的冬天，看来就要过去。在那整整温暖的春天，还远远都没有到来傅昌，傅昌 ，You're the secretary, but you're also a member of our group, right? All of us are going to the meeting. Why aren't you going? I refuse to. We're of the same group. We can't leave you by yourself. If I go there, I'll be completely humiliated. No, how will it be humiliating? Fu Jun told Xiao An that the production responsibility system is meant to support his work. Ah, well, you're his brother. You should go stand beside him. If you don't, the others won't support him either. So don't you think I'm right about it? <sighs> fine, fine, fine. I'll go with you. Ah. Fu Tang, this way. Isn't the meeting held in the feeding chamber? We'll go this way and take Yu Ting with us. He said that he won't show up for the meeting unless you promise to go. Look, Secretary Tian is here. Let's greet him with a big. Have a seat, please. You're rarely so enthusiastic as today. This is good news. Well, of course we'll be happy. Secretary Tian, what do you think? Can we start now? Start what? Grouping. I know. Fine. You know, you're so ungrateful. When we implement the collectivization, it was me. It was me who called all of you together and established the brigade we have today. Now today, you just want to dissolve it like this? This decision is the will of the people. Am I right? Yes. 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 Fine. Do what you will then. I don't care. Secretary Jian, you think, where are you going? Why do you leave? Yo, there's nothing but a capitalist revival. I refuse to take part in this. If you don't, what will you eat? I would rather starve than be a capitalist slave. Dad, let me talk with Uncle later. He'll understand. Try it. Don't worry about Fu Tang. I'll talk with him. All right. Help me reason with him. Okay, I will. <laughs> Now let's start. <laughs> <laughs> Every 
everyone. Attention, please. Be quiet. Hey, you, stop talking. Even the cows are happy, right? Yeah? I can bet you, if this guy could have hands, he'd be applauding for us. Uh-huh, right? Yes. 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 Right. yes! All right, quiet down. Listen up, okay? We're going to vote now. If you're in favor of implementing the responsibility system, please raise your hands. Good. Since that result was completely unanimous, there is one more decision. There are two ways to delegate production. We can contract by household or contract in groups. After we decide, we can move forward. To, to the, the groups. groups! Right, as a group. Raise your hand if you agree. So, um, why don't we contract by family? I knew you'd ask me that. Well, here's the thing. If we start by contracting as individual families, then what about those widows, elders, and low-income families? How will they manage? Our brigade is not able to support them now. So we contract to the groups for a few years, develop a support system, then we can contract as individuals. It'll be safer, right? And people are more likely to accept that. Yes, 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 right, right, yes. Uh, listen, as the old saying goes, better late than never. We wanted to realize this last year, but we failed at first. I didn't agree with Shawan on this idea, but it seems that there's no other way for our poor people. So, so I agree with him. All right. I agree with Shawan. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I agree. Okay, yes. okay, let's vote on it. Listen, if you support the formations of groups, please raise your hand. No dissents. Okay, hands down now. Since we all agree, we can discuss with each other. Which family do you want to make a group with? Three families is the minimum, and five is the max. You can talk it over. When you decide, come to Hymen and register. Okay, okay you can start. Yeah. Hey! Hey! Sun Xiaoan's mood is now as good as the splendid season. This is the life he once dreamed of. Now the dream comes true. The poor life of peasants is coming to the end. Their life is full of hope for the first time. What will we do? The lands are going to be controlled by groups. The bigger the groups, the larger the plots they will control. If you keep our family out of this, we won't have any land to grow our food. I'd rather starve to death. But you won't go? Fine, I will go to get the land. Don't you dare. If you step out that door, then don't bother coming back. I've always obeyed you, but not this time. I'm going no matter what you say. You better not. You! Ugh. How dare you? You can't go anywhere. Calm down. You want to beat me? Shelby, look what he's doing. He's going to beat me. Calm down. <sighs> Uh, uh, okay. Take a rest in the bedroom. I'll talk with him, okay? Okay. Sir, 
Calm down. Have some water. Sir, Runjan has enlisted in the army. He won't be back in at least three years. From now on, I can help out with anything your son used to. Nah, you're not my son. You are Sun Xiaoan's brother, Sun Xiaoping. I know you're at odds with him. I know that, but you also know, Rusheng was like a brother to me. All those years, you and your family helped me a lot. Every day when I go to school, Rusheng would always pick me up by bicycle. There was many times he brought me food. I know, you encouraged him to do that. It would take days to list them all, <laughs> sir. The conflict between you and my brother. It's all about work. They shouldn't break the bond between our families. We don't have any other relatives in the village. If you hadn't been there for us, we would be in a lot of trouble, sir. All the villagers want to benefit from their labor. This, this is the only way we have to improve our lives. Your wife is right. If you don't participate in this, you may not get land. But if you're in, we can all benefit. Fine, I have an idea. How about I register for you? You can make group with my family. You don't need to worry about farm work. I'll handle that for you. You're so kind, but I can't ask you to do the hard work for me, <laughs> sir. When Rinchung left, he asked me to take care of you. And I promised him, I'm a man of my word. I'm going to help you. Xiao An, so far Tian Fu Tang and Sun Yu Ting haven't registered yet. What should we do? Whether my uncle agrees on it or not, he has to make a group with me. He has to accept it. <laughs> What about Fu Tang? No one wants to work with him. He seldom does the farm work. He isn't capable of doing it. No one wants to group up with him. Shine. How about we take him in and make a group? We take him in. Hmm. Then we have to discuss his dad. Well, no matter what, we can't actually leave Secretary Tian out of this, right? All right. All of his farm work. I'll do that for him. He will agree to it sooner or later. Don't be mad at him. After all, he is elder and stubborn. <sighs> Since Rinchen is not here anymore, just leave everything up to me. I'll help Fu Tang. I understand you want to help him, but Xiao Ping, that's a big undertaking. You think you can handle it? You can't do that, Sean. You have taken your uncle in. If you make group with Fu Tong, you'll overburden yourself. Fu Tong is our relative, after all. We will take him in. Right. We can take him in. It makes sense. Do you think that the others will agree on it, Shaan? I don't care about group. I'm helping him with the work. All right. I think it's acceptable. It'll work. Fine. Then let's get this settled. Okay. Hi, Min. Tomorrow, you can take Wan Jiang and some guys, and I want you to make an inventory of the land, livestock, and tools within our brigade. Calculate them into three grades, considering households and labor forces. Then go and distribute to each group accordingly. We'll keep account that way. Okay?、Mm, that's a lot of that's a lot of work. Come on, you're the accountant in our brigade. What else are you supposed to do? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sean. What about the livestock? We're all short on stables. We have no places to raise them. Wan Jing can house them for the moment. We can distribute the livestock to groups after we build the stables. Okay? Call everyone to work. 
Secretary, stop it already. Why? They went to work before dawn. After they distributed into groups and started working separately, they seemed more motivated than ever before. They're just making an experiment on us. Exactly. 20 years ago, we practiced agricultural cooperation. We brought individual labor forces together and formed a collective mode of production. Hmm. What they're doing now is absolutely capitalistic. The newspaper says it was put forward by your brother. <sighs> Fu Chun is overly zealous for making reforms. Someday in the future, it'll backfire on him. We have formed a group. You, Haimin, Shoan, and me. Will you do labor work? I did not agree to this. No, I won't. All right, then I won't either. Ah, get away, let go of me. I'm not that old. Take care of yourself. Good health is everything. <coughs> Come on. <coughs> Why are you still <coughs> drinking? Stop it. You kill yourself. The collective is gone. What use do I have? Man, I'll pour the water into the vat. Okay. You need to take better care of yourself. <laughs> if not for you, do it for Rushan's sake. <sighs> Why Sir, should I? Stop drinking, okay? From now on, I'll do the farm work for you. Don't worry. Until Rushan comes back, I'll take good care of you two. <laughs> no need. I can do the farm work myself. I'm capable. I no way. You can't do it yourself. Rishon will kill me. Xiaoping, you've been working the entire morning. Come on, have lunch with it. No thanks, ma'am. I'll eat at home. Thanks. I gotta go. Bye. Hey, Xiaoping, take some buns. Your secretary Miao. I came all the way here today to report the current situation in Huangyuan to you. <laughs> uh, I heard that since I left Huangyuan, there have been a lot of changes there already. <laughs> yes. Since you left, Tian Fujun has carried out drastic reforms. All villages in the district are practicing production responsibility system. The so-called trail run. Huh has already been carried out in the whole district. <sighs> what kind of trail run is this? You know what? All the villages are in chaos. <sighs> there are some who are in opposition, but Tian Fujun orders them to comply. These practices being said, definitely have the farmer's support. As far as I know, a majority of the county leaders still don't want to follow Tian Fujun's order. There are brigade leaders in other villages that are strongly opposing him. Some of his counterparts are ignoring it and even giving outright refusals to comply. There is a doggerel poem that's been going around that describes the current situation. That is, the superior gives his orders, the people ride on the fence, and the leaders covertly oppose it. <laughs> Tian Funjun has made a big change in such a short time. He is far too brash. He wants to see this system go countrywide. The whole public is of the opinion that Tian Fujun is going to be in charge. Many are saying that you've been dismissed from duty and went back to province. What's... what's the attitude amongst the other leaders? Uh, except for me, most of them support Tian Fujun, including Feng Shiquan. He is Tian Fujun's right-hand man. 
Recently, he even went to Sichuan province to rally support for Tian Fu Jun. Secretary Miao, you'd better go back to Huang Yan as soon as possible. You have not been removed. You are still in charge, right? You can't give power to Tian Fu Jun and let him abuse it like this. As long as you're around, you can stop him and finally bring an end to his plan. <laughs> To be honest, we've been pursuing socialism for many years. But what is that exactly? I've no idea. I think what Tian Fujian is doing is right. At least, he is trying to find a solution to the poverty issue in our district. Serving the people is our ultimate goal. Only when we take care of the people, then we're doing the right thing. Secretary Miao, so you are? You're also supporting Tian Fu Jun. I hope that with my help, he can find a new way for our socialist construction in the whole district. May I ask you, what if... You were the commissioner of Huang Yuan. Could you find a better way to lift us all out of poverty? Me? Maybe I will do the same thing, but not like the way he's doing it. <laughs> then why do you try your best to stop him? What? To be perfectly honest with you, I admire his boldness and courage, but I'm worried that he messes things up in Huang Yuan. <laughs> he won't. All right then, you can leave, think it over, then prepare to cooperate with Tian Fujian. Well, the... <sighs> Yoo -ho! You need to talk to your brother, will you? What's wrong, Auntie? What's wrong? Your uncle's a jerk. He's running behind Futon all day. At home he does nothing and he refuses to work the farm. What should I do? Hey, auntie, don't worry. Uncle just hasn't accepted it yet. He needs more time, okay? By the time he accepts it, I'll have starved. Hey, don't say that. We'll help you anyway, okay? He's always lazy. It's okay. Sean. Yeah? Hey, why are you still working out of there? Junwu, we've weeded this land three times this year and applied fertilizer all over the area. The output will definitely increase. Hey, Fugal. Yeah? Do you remember how much corn we reaped last year? Last year? Yeah. About 134 kilos. This year, we'll reap 434 at least. Wow, in your dreams. The yield in our village never exceeded 300. Let alone four. You're talking big. We'll see, Let's go. Right? Oh. <laughs> the people from Tianja are crazy. They're working from dawn till dusk. They're cultivating more land than ever before. Even the extra wasteland was reclaimed. The land is fertilized. They're using every bit of land they can find and scarify the soil again and again. <laughs> if they keep this up, 
won't be long before they become rich. Are you jealous of them? Then work hard in your own fields and plant more crops than they do. I know, you're angry. And you want to blame someone. But you can't blame it on me. It's not my fault, right? Then tell me, who should I blame? Fine, then. Just settle yourself down now, okay? When you're done, distribute the land to us. Gentlemen, why don't you understand? If you're not afraid of being criticized, then do it yourself. Hurry up! Hurry! Junwoo! Janshan, talk with him. Junshan, we all want to practice a system like the first group. Who said that? Huh? We're not as those in the Futong's group. They're lower middle peasants from a good background. They're not afraid to work hard and take chances. If we go at this alone, it won't be long before we fall behind them. Several years ago, people from Jinjiawan were criticized of not supporting collectivization. It was a great source of embarrassment for so many years. Now, you want to change collectivization? What if it goes wrong? Huh, all of us will be criticized for it, you understand? Hey, get back to work! Hurry up! Hurry up! Ah, Secretary Shi, thank you for coming. You're ill. You should stay in bed. How can I stay in bed now that you're here? <laughs> Have a seat, please. I heard that you were in provincial hospital, so I came to visit you. What is ailing you? Heart disease. Heavy. Tell me about it. But I'm not sure whether I can help you. <laughs> My disease is really hard to cure. Secretary Sher, I've applied for early retirement. I hope that provincial government could appoint Tian Fu Jin as the secretary of Huang Yun District. That is my final request. And I make this decision after great deliberation. There are two reasons. First, I'm in poor health. My blood pressure rises at every turn. Second, Huang Yuan region needs a bold and courageous man of the people, like Tian Fu Jun. I'm really surprised that you would say so. It is no easy to give up one's position. I commend you. I know this decision I should really make. He deserves the position. When the provincial government appointed Tian Fu Jin as the commissioner, I had some complaints, and that's why I asked for a leave. So I stand by and watch him fail. I recognize that I was wrong before. His appointment was very wise. So who will be appointed as commissioner of Hang Yuan District? Gao Feng Although they are at odds with each other, I'm sure that when it comes to work, they could be good partners. One is visionary, the other one is more prudent. The proposal is exactly in line with Secretary Charles, except for one thing. Regarding your station, the provincial government wants to appoint you as vice secretary. What do you think? I obey your orders. Why can't you see the good things going on? 
our crops are growing well, we're in for a larger harvest this year. Xiaobin has become a man. Lian Shang studies in the high school in the county, and you're a grandfather now. Although Grandma is 80 years old, she's still healthy. What troubles you? It's about your sister. I'm worried about her. Well, I haven't been to visit her for a long time. I heard the news that, after the Jar Village distributed land to groups, Munyan ran off again. He said he was selling rat poison. He left Lanhua alone at home. Your sister has to support the family and take care of the baby alone. Of course I'm worried. How about this, Dad? I'll go to Jar Village to see my sister. You should hurry. Comrades, attention please. Rats are very dangerous. They jump on your bed and even ruin your Dacron clothes. Aren't those Dacron clothes expensive? Of course. Exactly. Expensive or cheap, doesn't matter. They'll ruin your clothes. All year round, they run around in your house and bring fleas along with them. Right now, you're out. Rats are stealing your food. Do you ever steal your food? Do they ever steal your food? Yeah. Yes. Did they? Yes. What should you do? Rat poison is not expensive. One cent per pack at most. One cent is a small amount. You can't buy food for a little one with it, or clothes for your wife. Rat poison may be cheap, but it's really effective. Once they eat, they will die. There will be nowhere to run for the rats. I promise you can clean out entire next if you will buy just one of my packets. How many do you want? How many do you want? I want one. Do you want one? How many? Here you are. Man Yin! Shawan? When did you get here? What are you doing here? Are you supposed to be out? Shawan, my brother-in-law. Hello, hello. No more sales. I'm on a break. You can leave. I'm going to talk with my brother-in-law. You can come back in the afternoon, okay? What are you doing? Selling rat poison, as you see. Shawan. Sister, you're here too. I had come here to see him. Just now? Uh. She feels embarrassed <laughs> as she hides herself, right? <laughs> Dad told me that this Lufa has run off again. He's worried, so he asked me to see you. I didn't expect that I'd find you both here. What's up? Why are you hanging around the back? Joanne, be polite. It's okay. I have been back for a few days already. I come to see her and the baby. And I bring her money. Money? Yeah. He really gave the money to you? Shawan, I would never lie to you. Even if I did, I could lie to my wife. <laughs> That's true. Did he bring money to me? You can tell Dad, Menyin has changed. Love is blind. You're perfect in her eyes. <laughs> Even if you are an idler, there's one thing about you. You're good to my sister. Ah, of course. No matter what I do, I will treat your sister well. I have many weaknesses, but I love your sister so much. Isn't that right? Come on, Sean is here. Don't say that. Knock it off. Are you ashamed? I'm telling the truth. Knock it off. Stop this. Knock it off. Listen, brother-in-law. What's up? What if you could sell something else? What do you mean? Selling rat poison, it doesn't sound decent. Then what pesticide should I sell? Why pesticides? No, 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 that's not what I mean. I just want to sell something I'm familiar with, okay? You can sell pumpkins because you're familiar with that. What are you looking at? Your clothes, where? Where did you buy them? Ah, it's called fashion. This shirt is made in Guangzhou. Pants in Shanghai. Shoes in Beijing. <laughs> These shoes are very comfortable. You should try them on. Not necessary. I'm happy enough just seeing the two of you here, all right? <laughs> uh, right. Take the baby to see Dad when you have time, okay? You can tell Dad. I've changed a lot. 
I'm doing well with my business. Huh? <laughs> I'm here to sell pumpkins. You're selling raticide. Well, I'd better sell pumpkins over there. Okay, you can go. I'll buy you dinner sometime, okay? What did you say? Buy me dinner? Save that money and give them to my sister. Don't be wasteful, okay? Uh, I have something else to sell. The system is much better. Have you ever thought about stopping planting and find another way to make money? Think about it. I'm a peasant. What else can I do to earn money? You can do many things. You can go into selling pesticides with me. Work with you? You know nothing but bragging. Fine. You're destined to be a peasant. You know, if I was half as capable as you, I would be rich. Rest assured, one day if I really find a good way to make money, I won't pass it up. Pumpkins! Good pumpkins! Pumpkins! Good pumpkins! How much you send for? Oh, one cent for two. I like two. Okay. How are those two? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Are we good? Yeah. Oh, pumpkins! Oh, pumpkin! How much is it? <laughs> uh, hello, Genmin. You look so smart in your suit. You appear so different since becoming the vice director. Look at your hair. I'm going blind, it's so shiny. <laughs> Enough. I haven't got used to it either, but it's required of me. I didn't expect to meet you here. I've been looking for you. Is everything okay? Come on, we can talk in my office. What about my pumpkins? Take them. I'll buy them all. Huh? Are you serious? Help me to pack them. Come in, come in. I'm standing come on, come in on. the office come of director. In. Have a seat. Ah, what's up? Do you want to make some money? Of course I want to make money. <laughs> but I don't have a lot of options, except for selling pumpkins. <laughs> There's something you can do. You want to try it? What's that? Deliver bricks. Bricks? Yeah. The, the primary school in Yuanchi County is expanding classrooms. One of my cousins is the director of the school. Oh. He's taking charge of the construction, and he asked me to find someone to transport the bricks from Brickyard in Guamal Village to the construction site. I think you can do that. I can get paid? Of course you can. More bricks, more money. You can earn one cent by transporting one brick. You can easily make up to ten trips a day. That's a lot of money, right? Send for a break ten times a day. That sounds great! I'm in! That sure is. Oh. Just one thing. You're gonna have to get the cart and mule. You can't handle it by yourself. Well, I can get the trailer wagon. When we established the construction brigade, we sold many of the trailer trucks to peasants. I can buy a good truck with 100 yuan. As for the mule. That's the problem. It'll cost 1,000 at least. Well, you need to get money first. You can borrow Hey, some. no way. I won't borrow money. It feels terrible being in someone else's debt. Besides, no one is going to lend 1,000 yuan to me. I don't think I can work it out. It's a pity. If you can't. Since you don't want to borrow money from your fellows, how about the community credit cooperatives? Credit cooperatives? Will they loan to me? I can authorize you 700. If it's more than 1,000, you need to ask Director Shu. You could authorize 700? Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. Good. I'll talk with my father when I'm home. Okay. Oh, right. You said you'd buy them all? Yeah, I'll leave yeah, them here. Yeah, yeah. On the way home, Sha'an can't help but think about the possibilities that could stem from this opportunity. His heart races with excitement. As the pillar of his family, he can finally bring an end to their suffering. Dad, what are you drawing? They're not numbers. It looks like a celestial map. I can't understand that. Except me. No one can understand. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I won't understand it either. <laughs> what are you talking about? It's an account. I did the math, Sean. Huh. As I calculated, it'll be profitable. Of course. I also did some calculating. But uh, it's too heavy for a donkey. We need a mule. Mm. But we can't afford a mule. 
It may cost nearly 1,000 yuan. I'd feel terrible if we have to borrow money from someone. I don't want to do that. Well, Genman said he could authorize a loan. Yes. It'll work if they can loan you 1,000, but they can only give you 700. What about the rest? You'll have to piece it together. <sighs> that might prove difficult. If you apply for a loan, you, you'll have to pay it back on time. You can't forget the interest. Dad, think about it this way. As long as we buy a mule, after two months, we can not only pay the loan, but also make money. This is a profitable venture. Uh, it's just that I'm afraid of borrowing money. Besides, what about the rest? 300 yuan. Whom can we borrow it from? <sighs> You're right. Who can we ask? <sighs> I suppose that I have to give up. My best opportunity in my life. So that's it. I'll tell Gunman to give this opportunity to someone else. What? To others? What choice do we have? He's asleep. Hey, you know what? We can't give it up. If we can earn money from it, we can fix up our house. Maybe we could even have enough for a new one. Why are you thinking so far ahead? I haven't gotten a job. How can I afford that? I don't even have the money to buy a mule. You don't need to worry about that. I'll send a telegram to my father and ask him to help us. There also, my brother-in-law, Yolin, may have savings. We can borrow from him. Uh, hey, hey, let's not be hasty. I need to talk with Dad.